Hey everybody, it's Mindy, and I'm bringing to you today a book haul of bargain books. Bargain, yes. This is what I'm calling my bargain book haul, okay? So we have a used bookstore in the area, and I haven't been to it in a couple of years. And so I had a doctor's appointment very close to the store, and I thought, let me go in and see what they have. So I have quite a stack here. We're just gonna go through them kind of briefly, okay? And I'll show you what I got. Um, when I look through the used books, I want something that looks decent. You know what I mean? Not completely busted and tattered on the edge, you know? So it's got to be in pretty good shape before I want to, you know, spend money. So this was $3.99. It's Bella Riley, an Emerald Lake novel called Home Sweet Home. And it says 10 years ago, and 200 miles, that's what separates Andy Powell from quiet, secluded Emerald Lake. So it's going back to a hometown. And of course, they're going to, you know, two people are going to meet up there. Yeah. So I've never read that author, but it sounded very interesting. But right up my alley. Okay. One thing I got. All right. Next thing I got is a Kristen Higgins book. I like Kristen Higgins. This is a Blue Heron novel. So that's part of a series, Blue Heron. Um, you should be pretty darn sure the answer will be yes. Oh, before you get down on bended knee. Yeah, don't ask somebody to marry you until you're sure they're going to say yes. <laughs> um, he's got a restaurant. She's got her dream job at the vineyard. Is it time to get married? He pops the question. Her answer is a fond but firm no. Oh, dear. Huh. Okay, let's see what happens there. <laughs> um, that book was $2.99. This one was also $2.99. It's an Ellen Hildebrand. I love Ellen Hildebrand. This one's called The Identicals. Um, I love her. They're just beachy reads. They're fun. There's always something interesting. This one's set in Nantucket. Um, Nantucket and Martha, Martha's Vineyard, two islands. I might as well be worlds apart for this set of identical twin sisters who have been at odds and on separate islands for years. Just because the twins look exactly the same doesn't mean they're anything alike. Hmm. So there's a family crisis that forces them to band together or appear to. <laughs> the sisters come to realize that the special bond they share is more important than the resentments that have driven them apart. So will the sisters come together from the two separate islands and their two separate lives come together? Let's see. We'll find out. All right. My stack of books could fall over at any time. This one was also $2.99. Samantha Chase. Um, called Suddenly Mine. Uh, new beginnings are irresistible. Christian is burned out. The family business is his entire world. And Christian has never stopped trying to atone for a mistake he made years ago. Of course not. Uh, Sophie was happy living in her small Kansas hometown until she learned her entire life was a lie. Wow. <laughs> so she hightails it to the West Coast. If she has to start over, she can at least learn how to surf, right? <laughs> Chance encounter throws them together. Let's see what happens, right? See what happens. All right. Um, this one's really in good shape. This one was $4.99. This one doesn't even hardly look like it was cracked open. It's a Nancy Thayer. It's called Island Girls. Island Girls, right? Relations among three sisters. Okay, there's Arden, who's bookish, no, wait, successful Arden, bookish Meg, and secretive Jenny. They've long been clouded with smoldering jealousies and resentments. Man, come on, girls, really? Three girls can't get along. Two, no, oh, whatever. Um, they each, um, each of the daughters of charming ladies' man, Rory, comes from a different marriage. Oh, so their dad was kind of, uh, got around a little bit, had children with different women, and then their dad dies. Hmm. Um, they soon learn that his will asks them to live together for one summer in his Nantucket home. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's how that's going to go, right? What else do we have here? Um, oh, I love Wendy Wax. Love me some Wendy Wax. Um, there's a series, 10 Beach Road. Some women get together and they renovate homes. Yeah, I've read, I don't know, three of them, I think. I'm not quite sure how many there are. And it's been a few years, a couple years, but 
This one is where they are forced to rent out their beloved Bella Flora after the loss of their reality TV show called Do Over. Yeah, they had a TV show about renovating these homes. Um, so what's they're believing the worst is over and then they discover how uncertain their future really is. I mean, after they lost the TV show, how could it get worse? Apparently it does. Maddie struggles with the challenges of dating a rock star. Um, Nikki faces realities of mothering twins at the age of 47. <laughs> no. Uh, Avery buries herself in a tiny home built in an attempt to dodge commitment issues. And Kira is battling to protect her son from the Hollywood world that she had once dreamed of joining. She had a very famous Hollywood actor boyfriend had a child with him. So the saga continues. Here we go. All right. And then I have a Jill Shelvis. Um, I have a couple of hers. And I have not read any yet. They all sound super good though. This one is called Rainy Day Friends. Rainy Day Friends, right? Um, six months after Lanny Jacobs' husband's death, it's hard to imagine anything could deepen her sense of pain and loss. But then Lanny discovers she isn't the only one grieving his passing. A serial adulterer. <laughs> he left behind several other women who believed they were his legally wedded wife. Come on, really? How does somebody do that? How do you go marry a bunch of women and you get away with it? I mean, I don't get it. Anyhow, I guess she's got to figure out what to do. All these women and... By the title, Rainy Day Friends, are they all going to become friends? Because they were all married to this cheating lion snake in the grass? <laughs> Anyhow, those are the books I got at the used bookstore, okay? Another trip we made was to Ollie's. I don't know if you have an Ollie's where you live, but it's like a closeout store. They have everything. They have home goods. They have, you know, food. They have a nice book section. They usually have a lot of kids' books there, coloring books, all kinds of fun stuff. So this is what I got there. All right, first thing I got, this isn't really not a book, bookish thing, but this is a nice journal. I wanted one that was spiral bound, that would open and, you know, this is going to be my log book for diamond paintings. Yes, because of the spiral bound. It's just, you know, paper. Love that. Okay. Um, what else did I get at Ollie's? Ollie's stuff is super, super inexpensive. So this book here was $2.99. Now they're closeouts, and so you're not going to get the most current, you know, books out there, but um, you can find some good things. So this one is by Beth Harbison. It's called Every Time You Go Away. So every time you go away, Willa has never fully recovered from the sudden death of her husband, uh, she became an absent mother to her young son, unable to comfort him while reeling from her own grief. Now, years later, she decides to return to the beach house where he passed. It's time to move on and put the Ocean City, Maryland house on the market. House is in bad shape. Ben's ghosts keep popping up all over. And so just to protect her sanity, she enlists the help of her friend, um, to join her for one last summer at the beach as they explore old haunts, their buried feelings, all of those things as they try to deal with the passing and like closure. Everybody needs closure. So she, she's going to find some closure. Okay. Okay. What else do we have? Um, I got a Jennifer Weiner for $3.99. Hardcover. Look, $3.99. Okay. I'm not certain, you know, what the copyright date on this one is. Like, how far out is it? Let's see. This one, 2019. So that's not bad, right? Not bad. Um, Joe and Bethy Kaufman were born into a world of promise. 1950s Detroit. They live in the perfect Dick and Jane house. Their roles in the family clearly defined. Joe's a tomboy, the bookish rebel with a passion to make the world fair. Bethy's the pretty feminine good girl. Mm -hmm. A would-be star who enjoys the power that her beauty confers and dreams of a traditional life. However... Truth ends up looking different. Yeah, they have to survive trauma and tragedy. Their lives unfold during free love, Vietnam, Woodstock, women's lib, right? And how do those things affect them as they grow and develop their life? So, there's that. Sounded good. Sounded good. Sounded good. Okay. 
Try not to crash my little table over there. All right, I found this one. Um, this one, I just picked it up because I like the cover. Honestly, it was $3.99. It's called When You Are Near by Tracy Peterson. And I love the cover. Look at, it's like Western, right? Yeah, it's cool. After her father's death, Lizzie, who's a trick rider, <laughs> a trick rider in an all-female Wild West extravaganza wants nothing more than to quit her role as the star of the show and to live a quiet life on her family's ranch. But returning home would bring Wesley DeShazer, the foreman, and the man who broke her heart. So she goes back, she's got to face this guy, right? So will she go back? What happens when she goes back? She stops over at Fleming Farm on the way there. Um, Ella Fleming not only has a natural talent for trick riding and could easily replace Lizzie, but she's eager to join the show to flee someone she's betrothed to. So does she make it all the way back to her hometown? Does she stop here? Does she help this girl? I mean, what's going to happen? Don't know. We shall find out. Okay. Another interesting thing I got there. I told you they had coloring books and I've looked at these for a while. This was $1.99, you guys. And it is a Quirkle, okay? A Quirkle coloring book. Yeah, these have been intriguing for a while. So it's like you take one color and you color, you know, there's directions in here. You start dark on the outside, I think, and you come lighter to the inside. Um, and look, at does this look like anything to you right now? But look, does it look like anything? Does that look like a picture? No, it's intriguing though. So these are supposed to be like icons, like that looks like Marilyn Monroe on the cover, right? So I wanna try one. I'm just intrigued by it. We'll see how that goes. All right, I'll have to read the directions a little more. Now, the last book I'm gonna throw in this haul was not at the bargain bookstore. And it's one that I just had to, had to get because it's the newest by Susan Mallory. The newest book by Susan Mallory. The Vineyard at Painted Moon. Yes, had to get it. So it's about a vineyard. <laughs> and so this lady is married into this family that owned the vineyard. And they're her world. They're everything. The vineyard, that's where she works. Her husband, her family, his family has become her, her family. And then the marriage kind of takes a turn and goes south. And so then she has to decide what she's going to do. She's no longer part of the family. She could stay there as an employee working at the vineyard, but these are her people. This is her home. So what does she do? Does she stay and just be the employee? Or does she try to branch out on her own and find out what else life has out there in store for her? Love Susan Mallory. This is one of her newest books. Couldn't resist. Yes. So, you guys, that is what I got for my bargain book haul. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I got some good stuff here. Things I've never heard of. Authors I don't know. Just things that sounded interesting. I was at the used bookstore for a while, just pulling out books, looking at the back, looking at, reading a little bit, you know, looking at the covers. Yeah, fun. So, that's what I have for you right now, you guys. So, thanks for watching and um, hope to see you soon. Happy reading, everybody.